thing to keep in mind is that you know these engines are not so much hardware nowadays as they are you know software based we have uh, software engineers now that are involved in in programming the strategies of a diesel like a mechanical powertrain you know the diesel powertrain itself uh, has been around for a long time mechanically it's we've got a lot of the bugs worked out although there are still some some issues with with some certain platforms um, but primarily a lot of the faults that are, are to us today are directly related to electronic control so ECM calibration updates um, are, are always being issued for uh, Cummins diesel engines in particular in order to improve performance and and fix bugs that they uh, did maybe did not consider uh, when when they first developed the the engine platform or the electronic control system so constant new updates available a couple examples that I have and, and like to share with some common calibrations. You can see I've got an ISX 15 at the top. Um, you can see that this one EF, I've got uh, calibration EF 10047. And you know, there's been 43 calibration revisions over an 88 month period that accounts to approximately one new calibration every two months, which um, you know, tells me that there, there's a lot of bugs to be worked out. Um, there's a lot of improvements being made based on feedback from customers and fault codes that are appearing. And, you know, as a result, Cummins issues uh, calibration updates in order to remedy those, those, those problems. So if you're a fleet that doesn't have access to Cummins Insight Pro, you're kind of at the mercy of the dealership or the Cummins certified repair shop in order to get these calibrations up to date now you know if you are coming certified and and you can install your own calibrations one we need to ensure that your technicians you know know how to properly do that and then two we should also potentially be considering calibration updates as a part of our regular maintenance schedule you may have to you know update a calibration more frequently than even doing an oil change for example so there, there, there's a lot of argument now for having software changes, um, you know, basically as frequently as you have uh, filter changes, right? Uh, oil, we need to change the oil in the filter um, in order to reduce the chances of some sort of a, a catastrophic failure or a, a degradation of components or premature failure of components. The same thing could be said for our software now too. So that's one thing I keep preaching to, to all my fleets is, you know, calibration, the software needs to be treated as a regular maintenance item as well for, for a, you know, majority of our, our common Cummins engine calibrations. So uh, you do require Insight Pro. I think everybody in this session has Insight Pro access already. Um, again, one thing is we need to make sure that your, your technicians have the uh, know-how uh, to install calibrations. And then um, also to check for calibrations on a regular basis. When it does come into the shop for a PM, let's check to see if there's a calibration update. Why? Because as you can see, calibration updates reduce occurrences of fall codes. And that's one thing I like to preach is that we can proactively eliminate or reduce faults from taking place by updating our ECM calibrations. So in this example, you can see the latest and greatest uh, calibration update that you can see at the top uh, section here. You can see that fault code, there's you know, a dozen fault codes that, that this particular calibration revision actually addresses. So uh, if we do not put that calibration in and the vehicle goes back into service, if one of these fault codes comes up, one of the things that would happen if you outsource to a dealer is that the dealership would probably just put the calibration in, which would clear the fault codes, put it back into service and just hope that they don't come back again. So that's a 15 minute operation that we can do in house and actually do before these fault codes even you know, take place. So uh, that's one argument for, for why we should be regularly checking um, ECM calibration updates when you know, when the bus or the truck comes into the shop.